Yo, so today I'm going to be breaking down like simple ambient melody kind of in the style of Nav and then throwing some drums on it afterwards. Purple. All right, so the first sound I used is this pad from Omnisphere. Uh, it's called Minnesota. It's kind of almost like synth mixed with like a flute it sounds pretty cool and we'll just do it in a second but the mini for this overall is pretty simple when you like break it down piece by piece but looks kind of complex uh overall and the biggest tip i have for ambient melodies is uh don't overdo it like leave space for like the sound to do its thing let like the sound work for you and also i find it really helpful to look at it like making the midi almost like you're making an emotional melody mixed with like some parts of like a dark melody so using a lot of those notes in the scales that are right next to each other uh th just thinking about that really helped me uh, come up with this one but like i said before have a lot of these notes that are next to each other in the scale here here and then the whole top line is just a repeating thing uh with the a sharp and b so again going back to like keeping it uh, rather simple uh, this section is the exact same as this section. Uh, the only difference is this bass note changes. So all of this metal stuff is exactly the same, just copied over. And it doesn't really get boring because I have this little thing at the end and this little note here. And also the bass note changes, so I, that adds a little bit of variation. But that just like kind of keeps it very simple, kind of catchy and repetitive. Uh, so yeah. So now I'm going to go ahead and play this without effects so you guys can hear it. Yeah, so overall I think it turned out pretty good. And another thing that kind of ties in with like the dark melody thing is this is basically the most like basic little baby piano a piano progression but it works well for this too so then i put effects on that uh, which is half time on the half preset i felt that the quarter preset uh like almost sped it up too much and made it like you wanted it to turn it into like a dark bouncy beat instead of like a slower ambient one so i put it on half and then just a uh cut on the lows and then an imager so after those effects it sounds like this Yeah, so that ended up sounding uh, pretty cool. It sounds kind of like more dark now. And yeah. So then I went ahead and rendered that out. So that what you just listened to is this pattern one. And then I rendered it out again and just reversed it. And I found this weird uh, little chop here that oddly sounds like a string, which I was going to add anyways uh, later. So instead of that, I just decided to add this little reverse chop that vaguely sounds like a string. But I thought it was pretty cool. So here that is. And that just comes in at the end of every uh, four bars. And the effects I put on that uh, reverse thing that sounds like a string, a reverb with the decay and the delay turned up, a chorus, default preset turned halfway down, and then a pancake on the bigger preset uh, with the thing on one bar. And then also on the other the non-reversed one, I have a love filter with the cut knob there, a EQ to cut the highs, just to kind of clean up that because it was kind of messy, I guess. And then tape cassette 2, wow and flutter turned up, a cut on the lows, and a imager. So those two sounds really carry the whole melody, and all the rest of the stuff is really just like little accent bits that kind of make it have a little bit more variation. Yeah, so the next sound I added is the ether pluck from the Wander uh, Serum Bank. And it just does this really quick roll at the uh, beginning. And then I uh, just like inverted the roll so it goes down instead of up. Uh, this just adds a nice little accent. And what really makes it cool is this uh, Valhalla Supermassive, which is like a reverb and a delay combined. So I have it on the carousel preset with the warp turned to 30. And if you mess with the warp, you can get some really cool effects with it. 
and this is a free plugin so you should probably go grab that and then also magic switch and then the normal imager and a low cut so here's what this pattern sounds like Yeah, so that uh, super massive plugin really brought this like together and made it sound a lot more cool. Because if it was dry, it would just be that little roll and it would be kind of pointless. But then that kind of adds some like ambience effect to it, I guess. All right, so the next sound I put in is this granular vibra signs uh, from Omnisphere. It's a stock sound. I really like to use this a lot. I'm pretty sure it's like a ton of songs. It's a really good preset. And the MIDI for this is again really simple. It's just copying that top line from the main melody and then uh, it's uh, duplicated down an octave just to make it seem a little bit more full. And then for the effects on that, half time on uh, the half preset again. Uh, Shaper box, uh, it's on that uh, sweeping preset. I like to use the filter one. So here's what that looks like. I didn't alter it at all or anything. And then this EQ, which looks a little wacky, but after I play it, uh, I'll show you what this kind of does. So here's this melody. Just fills up some of that high end and it sounds pretty cool overall. Kinda spooky. All right, and then for that EQ, uh, I said I would explain earlier, there's like a harsh frequency right here, but it really doesn't bother me that much because that's like the low note of the melody almost. But you can see that there's gonna be one that like sweeps right up to here. And that was just kind of like a droning kind of sound, like kind of a little bit high pitch, but it sounded pretty not okay. So I took that out. So you can see right where I took it out is that uh, one harsh frequency. All right, so this next sound is like the final melodic sound besides the bass. Uh, but really, if I made this melody again, I really wouldn't want to add it. It didn't add much. It just kind of fills up a little bit of space, adds a little bit of texture. But it's in the Retroland bank, and it's the Distant uh, Blipper Lead 1. And it sounds okay, uh, but what I did is just copied the main melody over, pitched it up two octaves, and then to control a shift d to make all the notes the size of a cell so overall it's the same pattern there's really not much to explain so i'll go ahead and just play this My original idea was with uh, my original idea with this sound was kind of to give the melody a little bit more energy. Like sometimes I do in the hyper pop melodies, where there'll be the bass melody, and then I'll just have like repeating plucks under it that like lay real low, but still give it a lot of energy. Uh, but that didn't really work out, and I didn't feel like it fit into the melody because it is kind of slow ambient kind of thing. Okay, so the final sound is this growler moog bass. I use this all the time in my like darker ambient loops sometimes in like piano stuff but not usually and just copies the bass notes it's a bass so i'm just going to go ahead and play it and then you can hear what it sounds like it's a bass pattern there's really not much to explain but i put this eq on it because I think I explained this in the last video, the Growler Moog Bass kind of has like a rising effect to it, where it gets a little bit more high pitched over time. And I had it playing for a pretty long duration, so I wanted to take that out. And I went ahead and boosted this area here, because that's where you could really hear uh, that high note, the G that's in here. That sounded a lot better if it was just boosted a little bit, so I went ahead and did that. Yes, yeah, so that's all the melody things, and then... Uh, when I arranged it, I went ahead and added a crinkle effect from my uh, kit. And then I added this growth speed effect, which I do all the time. I uh, really like the way it sounds. It's the one beat gate with the basic eight uh, on the last thing. And I went ahead and extended the last uh, gate. And I use this in pretty much most of my melodies and it always gives off a pretty cool sound. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and play the final melody and then get into the drums.
Okay, so this is going to be a super weird video. Uh, I hated the way the drums came out because I recorded that last night and did the drums last night. So I redid them this morning and I, uh, and I just did them completely different, like used a short 808 instead of a long 808, uh, stuff like that. But I uh, deleted the FLP, so I can't really show you, but I can show you this, which is what I used for the hi-hats to get a cooler feel. I thought it fit the melody a little bit better. Uh, it's called Glitch by D Blue. It's like Loop Raider or Effectrix, but it's free. Of course, it's not as good, but it still works. So basically, you have these uh, things here, and you can go up here. Uh, so three is like re-trigger, five is uh, reverse, so you could drag them in like that, and then size it how you want. So basically, I just went in and did that. Uh, but I can't really explain the other stuff that I did because I lose the FLP. So, yeah. But this is going to be a very weird video. But thank you guys for watching. Uh, Hyperpop video on Friday, I think. Yeah, that's it should be there. And yeah, have a splendid rest of your morning.